down, slow down. What's the rush? We're having a lesson from Dr. Beetle in first aid, Mama. And I'm learning to tie a bandage. But I'm going to get there first. No, I am. <laughs> Bye then. Bye. Those bees will need bandages if they're not careful. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to our visitor who's come to teach you about first aid. Dr. Beetle. Oh, wow. Dr. Beetle. <clears throat> now, who knows what this is? <gasps> me! 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 Oh, oh, me! Oh, me! me. Uh, little girl. A bandage, Dr. Beetle. Yes. Extremely useful if someone gets hurt. Now, how do we get hurt? Uh by not paying due care and attention. Oh. Or not looking where you are going. Or not <gasps> concentrating. Oh. Mm. Now, <clears throat> a volunteer? Me, 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 oh, me, 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 You, boy. Yes. Ready. First, uh, we cover the wound like so. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> <clears throat> then we uh, take a bandage and wrap it around. What's that flashing? I don't know. No talking, please. Uh, listen and watch very carefully. We must all be prepared. And then, uh, then we tie the bandage like so. Uh, any questions? What's that flashing light? Uh, my bleeper. Uh, any other questions? I wonder what that's for. What's it for? <laughs> it tells me where there is an emergency. What's an emergency? Oh, it's when someone has an accident and I must go very quickly to treat them. Now, any other questions? Not about my bleeper. Hmm. What would happen if it bleeped right now? Well, obviously, I would have to rush off to help them. Now, uh, get into groups and practice your bandaging. Go on, chop, chop. Oh. Now, uh, bandaging each other, boys, not the floor. Roll it up, please. Begin again. <sighs> Could we practice on you? We'd be very good. We want to be doctors when we grow up. Ah, very good. Uh, come along then. You should have unrolled it this way. No, you should have unrolled it that way. You should have paid attention. <sighs> Do you think we should start again? <laughs> Girls, I appear to be bandaged to the chair. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. Sorry, Dr. Beetle. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> oh. Dr. Beetle, the bleeper's going off. It must be an emergency. Bring the bleeper here. Quick as you can, please, boys. Oh, oh. an emergency at Ant Hill Stort. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared. I'm, I'm not alert. I'm, I'm tied to the chair. I can go. Out of the question. But I know how to bandage now. No, you don't, Busby. I do. Nearly. Can I go too, Dr Beetle? No, I, I really don't think so. But it's an emergency and I can fly really fast. I'm faster. But I... Uh, oh, OK. Uh, take the bandages and fly along, both of you. I, I'll get there as soon as I can. Now, hurry up. Go on, chop, chop. We're here to help with the emergency. Dr. Beetle sent us. He's tied to a chair. Really? Mm hmm. Well, this honey jar landed on my foot and I can't walk on it. Ouch! I think I need bandages! <sighs> yes! <laughs> I really 
wish you'd listened, Jasper. You're the one messing it up. Ouch! Careful, lads, that hurts. Sorry, Vincent. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's very painful. Ouch! Come on, boys. If you work together and concentrate, you can do it. That way, I think. Ouch! Careful. Yes, then over. Oh, that's better. <laughs> nice work. Ah, oh, yes. Um, Dr. Beetle here. Don't panic, anyone. <laughs> We're not. Look, Jasper and Busby have done a grand job. Look. Uh, oh, I see. Hmm. Not bad. Hooray! Perhaps even I need a little bit of help sometimes. Well done, boys. We make a good team. The best. Are you sure this is right, Ruby? It's okay. I know what I'm doing. We're helping Mama with her shopping today. Oh, good. Aren't you helpful, little bees? Ruby, please can you find me a packet of flour? Coming right up. And Busby, a small packet of sugar, please. Here I go. Flour, flour. Now, where is it? Sugar. What does sugar look like again? I think I'd better find the eggs myself, eh, baby? Don't want any eggy accidents. <laughs> oh. Here's the sugar and the flour. Well done, you found everything. I couldn't find any eggs, though. It looks like you're sold out, Millicent. Oh, dear. Oh, but hold on, Vince! Yes, my angel. Oh, oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello Vincent. Vincent. <laughs> it looks as if we've sold out of eggs, Vince. <gasps> How exciting. Huh? You can be the first person to use the new Ant Hill Store's email <gasps> ordering system. Really? Yes. From now on, you can send your shopping list to us in an email. We gather up your groceries and Ooh. then deliver them to you the very next day. Oh, that does sound very handy. I know! Very handy, isn't it, baby? <laughs> <laughs> What's an email, Mama? Well, Busby, emails are... I know! We're doing them at school. Emails are a way to send letters on the computer. That's right. They're letters you send on the computer. Hmm. Did someone mention emails? <laughs> Grandma! Grandpa! Grandpa and I have started computer classes. I'm getting rather good at sending emails, even if I say so myself. She's top of the class. So am I. Miss Ladybird said so. So why don't you send me one? That way we can both practice. But I just can't seem to get the hang of it. Oh. Can I, Mama? When we get home. It just won't go in up here. What about me? Can I email Grandma too? Oh, Busby, you're far too young for such a difficult task. I hope you're not too young for swings and slides, Busby. No way! Come on, then. Oh, wait for me! And press send on the keyboard like this. There! You sent an email to Grandma. Yay! Can I send one to my best friend, Debbie? Oh, sorry, Ruby, but if I'm to make honey biscuits tomorrow, I must email my order of eggs right now. Will you make a specially big one just for me? Go on. I won't be long. Hello, Mama. Can you show me how to email? I want to send a letter on the computer, too. Just give me one minute. I have to email my shopping list. But it won't take long. Yes, I'll be finished in one second. Oh, dear. It's time for baby's feed. Shh, now. Some honey milk coming right up. Won't be long, Busby. 
You know what, baby? I've had an idea. Perhaps I could help Mama by sending her shopping list for her. Nothing's happening. Perhaps if I... I can email even better now, Busby. I'll teach you if you promise to concentrate. Don't worry. I'm the computer wizard. Mm. Huh? Hello, Vincent. Uh, hello. It looks, Mrs. B, as if you've emailed an order for four million eggs. Oh. Are you sure that you need that many? I can't possibly have ordered them. I didn't even finish my email. Uh, it was me. You? I only wanted to help. I put your shopping list in the post box in the computer. I sent an email. But I didn't mean to order that many eggs. <laughs> wow! Oh, Busby! That's the most original way of sending emails I've ever come across. Come on, Busby. I'm going to show you the normal way to send that email. It'll be a lot quicker and you won't accidentally order four million eggs again. <laughs> <laughs> now, first things first. Then when you finish typing your letter, you press this button to send it. I did it! My very first email. Well done, Grandpa. So, shall I email you your bedtime story? Nope. You definitely have to read that to me. <laughs> Come on then, computer wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, some important news. Oh. Next week is school sports day. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, sports day. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> There'll be all sorts of races, so everyone can join in. Hooray! Yeah. We can't wait. Egg and spoon's my favourite race. What's yours? Um, Barnaby. Zoom! Zoom! Watch out, everybody! I'm the fastest bee in the world! What's up? I don't want to do sports day. Why not? It's the best day ever! It's all right for you. I'm no good at anything. You are? Aunt. Ah, name one thing I'm good at. Hmm. See? I know. You're good at helping. Miss Ladybird always says she doesn't know what she'd do without you. Hmm. She calls you her special helper. I suppose I am quite good at helping. See? I know. You can help me practice for the egg and spoon race. We'll be a team. It'll be fun. Ready, set, yep, right. Off you go. Oh, no. Oh. Oops. <laughs>
can't do tricks and go fast in an egg and spoon race. You've got to be careful, like this. Wow, Barnaby! That was great! You've got to go slow and steady to win, Busby. Now you try. OK. Yay! It's sports day. Hooray! I'm going to... Achoo. Oh, dear. I'm not sure you're well enough to go to school, Busby. You can't win races if you've got the sneezles, you know. I'm fine. Achoo. Thank you, everybody, and well done, Snail. Now, everyone take their places for the last race of the day, the egg and spoon. Remember what I said, Busby? I mustn't go fast or do tricks. I've got to be careful. Right. On your marks. Achoo. Get set. Achoo. Achoo. Go. Come on, Busby. Busby, careful. Achoo. You can do it. Oh no. Busby. Achoo. 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 I can't keep the egg on the spoon. Achoo. Sorry, Barnaby. I can't do it. But that's it. What? You should do the race instead of me. I can't. Why not? You are great in training, but. If you go now, you can still win the race. Go on. Remember, Barnaby, you've got to be careful. Achoo! Go, Barnaby! Achoo! That's it. Slow and steady. Barnaby, that was excellent. It wasn't just me, Miss Ladybird. Busby and I did it together as a team. Then this is for both of you. Kiss from my wife and cherries on my pancakes. Can my day get any better? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, thank you. Pancakes, anyone? <laughs> Is that a yes, please? Uh -huh. Come on then, sit down. <laughs> I must say. Birthdays are very nice. In fact, I love them. The best is yet to come. Your birthday tea. Oh, yes. I can't wait. But first, I suppose I better go to work and make lots of honey. See you later, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks. Ruby, you'd better get ready too. Yay! Where are you going? 
to Grandma's. We made a plan to have a girly day. No boys allowed. Oh, that's Grandma. Bye, everyone. I've made a plan too, Mama. Is it doing all the washing up? Nope. Wait here. <laughs> Oh, is that Papa? Yes, it's the first part of my plan for his birthday. And the second part? The best birthday cake ever, decorated by me to look exactly like this. <laughs> and how exactly are you going to do this? Um, you're going to help me? <laughs> I see. Come on then, this will be fun. a great cake. I can't wait to see Papa's face when he sees it. I can't wait to see Ruby's face. She'll be so jealous that she didn't think of it. Let's put this masterpiece in the cupboard. You can bring it out as a surprise when Papa gets home. Yes! Buffy, I can't get anything ready with you buzzing all over the place. I can't help it. I want Papa to come home now. Hello, I'm home. Oh, oh, close your eyes. I've got to... Wait a minute, Busby. I think we're missing some important guests. Uh, Grandma, Grandpa and Ruby. Oops. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go and get your cake ready. I'll give you a nod when it's time. Surprise! Oh, it's beautiful, Ruby. Thank you. Grandma helped me. We decorated it just like my drawing. Do you like it? I love it. In fact, it's the best birthday cake I've ever seen. That was my plan. Busby decorated a cake for you too. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. Oh. What a mix-up. I'd better go and find Busby. Oh, dear. Ooh. Oh. A very special cake. Yes. Oh, dear. Ruby's ruined everything. She didn't know about your cake. But I made a plan and now it's all gone wrong. Busby, I love the cake you made for me. Do I really look like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? I've come up with a plan all of my own. I'm going to eat both my cakes. It's my birthday, after all. And there's plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Great cake, Busby. Thanks. I think I might need some help. Me, me, could I help? I'll help. <gasps> Happy birthday! was delicious. Perhaps I could manage just one more slice. Go on then, birthday boy. What a great birthday it's been. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. 
just going out to play, Mama. Oh, hold still. You've got honey on your face. Stop it, Mama. I'm not a baby anymore. Busby! You left this in the bathroom. My teddy bee! I can't sleep without you, can I? I'm just going to put Teddy in my bed before I go and meet Jasper. <laughs> Hello, Jasper. Come on, Busby. Let's slide. Yeah. to the swings. Let's see who can swing the highest. Whoa. Whoa. I think I'm going a bit too high. Ha ha ha! I'm the winner again. Shall we do the roundabout thing again? Nah, the playground's a bit babyish. Oh. Let's go and do some big boy stuff. What are we going to play? How about dinosaurs? Roar! I love playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! <laughs> Come on, Busby. Let's find someone else to scare. Hmm. The baby, you can't sleep at night without your teddy bee. You still have a teddy bee? There's an there's an old one somewhere in my bedroom. You have it in bed every night. Oh. <laughs> That's funny, little baby Busby with his teddy oh. bee. <laughs> Busby, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Jasper, I was just joking about Busby having a teddy bee. <laughs> I don't believe you, Ruby. From now on, I'm going to call him Baby Busby. <laughs> I... oh. I'm not a baby anymore. to the playground? No. I think I'll stay in today. How can I make things better? How long will it take for my blankie to dry, Mum? It'll be ready for tonight, Jasper. I know you can't sleep without it. Mum, shush. I don't want anyone to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, Jasper. <gasps> Ruby, what are you doing here? I was coming to see you and I heard everything. You've got a blankie to help you sleep. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell Busby. I won't tell him. <sighs> Because you're going to. <gasps> I want 
to play outside, Teddy, but I don't want to meet Jasper. Jasper? Hello, Busby. I've come to, um, uh, tell you something. Get on with it. I, uh, came to tell you that I can't sleep without my blankie. Really? So big boys can have things to help them sleep? Uh, yes. We just don't talk about them. So, I shouldn't tell everyone at school about your blankie, then? No! <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to the playground, then? Yes! We could play dinosaurs on swings! <laughs> See you later, Teddy B. And no scaring people this time. OK, thanks. Jasper, wait for me. Mm -hmm.